I'm Dr. Deans, and welcome to my office. Now, you've been referred to me for evaluation for cataracts. You've seen your own doctor. They've sent you to us because your vision can no longer be corrected with glasses. And if your vision's blurry, one of the most common reasons for it is a cataract. I'm often asked, what is a cataract? It's a common problem. Other people have it. But what exactly is it? I have here a model of the human eye. Now, it's a lot larger than your eye but this gives you a much better idea of what we're going to do. Here is the lens of the eye. And as you can see, it's quite cloudy. And this is exactly what a cataract looks like. Once this cloudy, cloudy lens obstructs your vision, we decide that it's time to remove it. And I'm often asked what criteria we use to recommend an operation. So for example, if you're at risk of failing your driving exam, if you're having trouble seeing at night, if you're having glare and you can't drive anymore at night, or if things are simply blurry in your day-to-day -day activities, it's time to consider an operation. At today's appointment, you will meet me. You will get a chance to discuss your concerns with me, and I will then, then decide whether it's time to recommend an operation. Once we make that decision, we will then measure your eye. But what actually happens during the procedure? Well, we bring you to the hospital and we make you sleepy for three or four minutes. This is a very quick operation. You're there for about two and a half hours, but the actual operation is very quick. While you're sleepy, we remove the cataract from your eye. That's the cloudy lens. During the surgery, we'll be replacing it with a brand new artificial lens. And that new lens fits inside your eye and will take the place of your natural lens. The first day after the operation, you do need to take it easy at home to let the anesthetic wear off. Once you see us on the first post-operative day, that's the day after your operation, you can resume virtually all your normal activities.